Hi guys, please like, share and subscribe and contact this number if you want full lectures of any CM or CS subjects. Thank you. Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn the concept of factors. So what are factors? Factors are a specific type of vectors where the data inside these vectors are of character type only. So each of the entry within the factors take one of the specified number of categories and the categories that are defined under the factors are called as levels. By default, R will assign the levels alphabetically. Okay. To relate to this, for example, you could say a factor can be a vector of say gender of policy holders. Female and male will be two levels in it because R by default assigns the levels alphabetically. It is going to give the first level to female and the second to male. All right. And if the categories are ordered we can use ordered factors. So what do we mean by ordinal? When the levels within a factor can be compared to each other. For example, we are recording the experience of our customers. Then it could be say poor, average, good or excellent. So all these four are different levels. Okay. And these levels can be compared to each other in the ascending order. Right. Okay. Let's get to creating factors. Okay, so when I say it is a type of vectors, let's create a vector first called gender. Let's get all the specifics of this vector. So the length is 5, the data inside the vector is of character type, is vector says true and the structure is there are 5 entries of characters which says F, M, M, F, F. Alright, so this is a vector as we see. But what if we want to convert it into a factor? We can do that by using the factor function. Let's rename the factor we want as gender factor. And we are going to use the factor command. Alright, so as you see in the global environment, gender factor is now defined as a factor with two levels, female and male. So here we see that female and male are two levels and the entries are 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. So if you compare it to the gender vector here, 1 is for the female as it is the first level and 2 refers to the male as it is the second level. And if you see the corresponding entries, it makes perfect sense. So we know that the first level is going to be given the number 1 and the second the number 2 and so on. Let's see the specifics of this factor as well. Naturally, there is an is function for factors as well, which says true. We can see the levels that are there by using the levels function and we can check the number of levels as well, which is two. All right. This is one way of creating factors or the other way of doing this is by defining a factor itself. I am going to rewrite the gender factor over here. Okay. And I'm going to use the factor command wherein I am entering the data manually. So you see I have entered the data manually and it is redefined. You can see the change over here. Alright, so we saw that the levels are going to be specified alphabetically, right? What if I want to redefine that? What if I want to redefine the male to be level 1 and female to be level 2? We can use the levels function and we can redefine the levels that are involved. These has have to be in the ascending order. So first if I want male because alphabetically it is already sorted, the levels will change. We can use the structure command and check how exactly has it changed. As you see, the first level is male and the second is female. But there is something that we should notice over here. Initially when you saw one was corresponded to female two to the male and when we have changed the levels as well the corresponding values haven't changed one is still referring to female only our first entry in the vector is female as we see here the second is male but the numbers here haven't changed so this is creating a conflict in R so to solve this remember when you are going to change the alphabetical order of specifying something 
do it inside the factor function itself so let's say we are redefining the fact gender factor again and we are going to use an argument called levels and we are going to specify the levels here itself so i want the first level to be male and the second to be female and while running this we can see the whole thing is run and now let's use the structure command now as you see the first entry because it is females you can see the first number corresponding is of the females it is 2 then the order of the numbers have changed all right remember while you are going to redefine your alphabetical order of levels do it inside the factor command itself all right so now as you see we have used f for females and m for males and our levels are also na named as m and f what if i want to write the whole word i am using just the abbreviations to define something but i am not using the whole spelling of something all right if i if do it right inside the factor function itself it is going to be cumbersome because i have to write the whole spelling for every entry what if i don't want to do that and i can do it some other way all right so here something known as labels come into the picture so let's say we are redefining the gender factor again you can see we have already defined the levels now let's add the argument labels all right here you can correspondingly define the labels so now you need to remember that the first one is m is for males so i have to have the male entry first and then i can define female it be the order basically should correspond with the levels argument so now when we run the structure command you can see that the whole name the labels have appeared over here okay not m not f but male and female so this is about the labels argument it is again an optional argument but in case you are going to use abbreviations this comes very handy so how do you select specific values how do you index factors in the same way as we did for vectors let's say we want to select the second entry so we just type 2 inside the square brackets and uh, this shows that the second entry is of male and the two levels involved are male and female you can use the c command inside indexing functions as well everything is the same as vectors naturally because the entries in the factors are of character type there cannot be any arithmetic that you can perform you cannot add subtract multiply divide or use factors to numerically perform something coming to ordered factors so as we discussed earlier when you have a comparison when you have an ascending or a descending order of the levels involved inside a factor you have to tell r that this is an ordered factor let's take another example let's say we are recording the general health of the policy holders so we are going to have a vector called health and we are going to define a factor here let's say we have four levels first one is poor the second one is average the third one is good and the fourth one is excellent we define the levels to be in the ascending order remember always when you define levels and labels in ordered factors you do it in ascending level so the first one was poor the second one is average the third is good and the fourth is excellent while defining the labels we have to do it in the same order as that of levels and the additional command in ordered factors will be called ordered you are going to give the value of true to say that this particular factor is going to be ordered all right so now let's see if we can compare the different values in the health factor say we ask our if the first entry is greater than the seventh entry it is going to give us false let's see what the seventh entry is it is average all right so average is definitely greater than poor and we are asking the inverse condition which is going to say false now let's see if the fourth entry is greater than the first one this is going to give us true because the fourth entry is excellent which is definitely greater than poor so we can see the order that we have defined over here works in the ascending order it is going to give us the right 
values okay so this is all that you need to know about factors these are the two things that you can practice now you should be good to go with them this is the time you pause your video and solve these things all right this is it for today see you again later